Well, here we are with our um, first recorded video from Just William. And it just happens to be uh, that time of the month where we talk about how much it costs to live in a motorhome. Now, we've been um, tracking costs for a couple of months. Um, mm. And if, you, if you've seen the previous videos, you'll know that we did a two week thing uh, for the two weeks in Europe and then two weeks in England and compared those and gave you a total for September. And this is gonna be the total for October. Surprisingly, not much difference. No, we've bit been the a, whole a, month of a, yeah, October in the UK, that, yeah. weren't we? And so, yeah, we've yeah. been a whole month in England um, and we haven't uh, costed in the purchase price of Just William, and and we won't. We, you know, that's something very very different um, to what we're talking about. We're talking about the general living expenses, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. Yeah, we and we, all the things that we do. We don't include um, <laughs> insurance or tax. Uh, no, no vehicle tax. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. this is sort of just. What we're paying yeah, out each week to be yeah. here in a way. I General mean, we could expenses. do. Um, so, things oh, things we definitely don't include is um, cost of the van, cost of the van insurance, cost of the road tax, uh, telephone charges, so internet access, that sort of stuff. Um, we don't include any of those because I think. Well, they can be very different for everybody. Certainly, the cost of your motorhome can vary from what twenty thousand up to two hundred thousand. Um, the cost of your mobile internet can can vary widely. Uh, road tax, who knows? Um, the road tax on this is thirty quid, same as the last one. So maybe that's similar so 30 pounds a month um we pay monthly mm. and uh you know so those things can be different for everybody i think i mean we might do one we might yeah. have a look at what those other things cost us each month maybe maybe, maybe we'll do that at the end of the year mm. um yeah. so september next year september 25 when we do a complete mm. roundup of everything we've spent um you know, traveling mm. around in the motorhome, then, you know, and then that will give you a good view of how much things cost. Anyway, mm. so um, what we're going to do now is just go through, we've got a set of categories mm. that we do, and we're going to go through those for October. So, do you want to start off? Yes, I do. So for October, we spent one hundred and ninety nine pounds on diesel. Two hundred quid on diesel. Yeah, uh, I think we were travelling around a lot. We so did. We did go up to North Wales, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So that's about. Yeah. Um, it costs about seventy seventy quid to fill up. About that. Um, depends on where you get it, but about that so that's, that's about three fill-ups isn't it how much did we pay we paid about 138 or something no 133 yeah. don't we pay i don't know I can't one remember. about 136 yeah about, diesel. about 136 138 mm. uh, a litre for diesel mm. <coughs> yeah so anyway that's um, well one of the things that we haven't got on there in the general categories is uh, lpg because um, we didn't buy any in October. No. No. So there's zero for yeah, LPG. Yeah, we didn't need Last any. time we bought LPG um, was in France. Mm. We spent 10 euros. Yeah. And that's lasted us all that long. Mm -hmm. So coming into November, because we're in November as we record this, um, we filled up with LPG again, which has been... Twenty pounds. Well, so that'll come in November. That, that'll yeah. be next yeah. month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, we'll do that at the end of November. Mm. So, um, campsite fees. 
that we spent £195 in the month on campsite fees. And that generally, because, you know, um, we've been going in and out of various campsites, trying to get ready for um, collection of Just William, mm. uh, keeping the batteries charged up. You know, being off-grid is great. It's perfect. Um, but you do need to go and, you know, freshen everything through. Um, so that's been uh, another couple of hundred quid. Um, do you want to talk about food? Food, yes. We spent £287. I that's think. on groceries. Groceries, yeah. I think yeah. we've been in a little co-op. And Mor a bit Morrison. Morrison and, and a little local yeah. shops like the butchers and things when we've been in places. So, oh, yes, yeah. yeah. We bought, yeah, we did buy, um, we bought a breast of lamb and some bacon from the little tiny independent butcher in Arundel. The breast of lamb was cheap, but the bacon was extortionate. Mm. It really was. Love, oh, beautiful bacon though. Mm. <laughs> you get what you pay for, don't so you? You get what you pay yeah. for, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, um, just short of 300 quid uh, for a month's groceries. Yes. I think yeah. that's pretty good. Yep. Mm. Um, and uh, laundry. 20, Wendy, yeah. Wendy says that we need to wash clothes. Mm. I don't know. I'm sceptical. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I, you know, I agree to it. That cost us 20, <laughs> 29 pounds. <laughs> 30 quid on washing clothes. Yeah, washing clothes, 30 quid. Um, yeah. And that includes the laundry, liquids and powders and stuff like that. Uh, and no, no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? No, it oh, doesn't. No, 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 no. Oh, because that would come in the grocery stuff, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I haven't found any machines yet in the UK that I've used where they've got um, powder supplies. Included, included in the price yeah. but they, i know they Some do in do. spain yeah where we've been in france i think they yeah. might revolutes might do it but i've not used the revolute in revolution this, revolution in this country i haven't no. used them so i think you get them included then so now, but anyway so in interestingly because i i thought oh um 287 pounds on groceries i, I said well, are you sure it seems extraordinarily low and um Here's the reason. So, um, having food out, coffees, beers, and this includes pub stopovers. Yeah, when we where, have pub stopovers. Where yeah. we've mm. got a free pub stopover and we've gone in and had a beer and a burger or a meal or whatever. Wait for it. <laughs> £592 mm. for eating out. No wonder we're not spending much on groceries, right? But, I, you know, I think that's fine. Mm. So £600 on, on that. And then there's extras in general. Just, yeah. just explain what they are. But... Well, the extras are... What? <laughs> My mind's gone blank. Let me think. Oh, yes. Vet we had to fees? buy some... Yes, the vet fees. That would be extra. That extra. Vet fees would Unusual. be extra. Um I interrupted you. We had to buy some. Oh, you had your phone repaired. Oh, phone repair. Yeah, we had to buy some <clears> hair <throat> care product, which was extra. Some item of clothing that was twenty pounds. Um, yeah. Oh, so and the, presents I bought presents for someone. Yeah, general, they was extra. General yeah. bits and pieces mm. that don't fit in. Mm. Diesel, site fees, groceries, laundry, mm. or eating out. <laughs> or yeah, LPG, yeah. just other other stuff. It's just mm. general, you know, and um, um, and that's been uh, that all cost us two hundred and ten pounds. Mm. Now, for those of you who have um, a mathematical brain or have managed to wade through our meanderings, um, might have realised that what that is in total is one thousand four hundred and eighty-one pounds. Mm. Which is good. What we're trying to do is keep um, keep below fifteen hundred while we're in 
the UK. I think you know I'd like to keep it a bit below that when we when we go to Europe because I th I think we're probably more able to do that. Well, yeah, because when we were in September, we were two weeks in Europe and two weeks in the UK, and it was. 1,467, but 250 pounds of that was a vet fee. So if you don't have that, it is cheaper in Europe. Well, the vet, no, two. Yeah, so we were in September. As soon as we got back, we had to pay that out. Yes, but that would make the UK cheaper. So, no, it wouldn't. Yeah, because the the England we paid vet fees in England two hundred and fifty quid. Yes, but I'm talking about the when oh. the month of September was was one thousand four hundred and sixty seven, and two yeah. weeks of that we were in Europe, and two weeks in the UK. But the two weeks we were in the UK of that we paid two hundred and fifty pounds to the vet. So that would have been uh, yeah, one thousand one thousand two hundred and seventeen. Yes, it would have been more um, reasonable. A bit more reasonable because we have yeah. spent vet fees again. What, I was, think, what was the two weeks in Europe? What was the two weeks what, total? Yeah, what was the total? Wendy keeps some meticulous records. It was, um, well, let me see. So it was, if we're going to pounds, we probably no, say. No, just euros. Oh, 200, no, 590 euros. 590 euros? For two weeks so, in um, um, Europe, yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe five fifty pounds. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's go, let's call it five fifty. So that mm. if you if you average that out, mm. you know you'll get you'll get to about eleven hundred, mm. maybe twelve hundred euros, uh, twelve hundred pounds mm. while we're in Europe. Mm. And bearing in mind when we were in Europe, so something falling over by the door. Mm. Um, when we were in Europe, we were going through uh, Germany and France, <clears throat> where things were a little bit more expensive, um, and potentially, yeah, I mean, so well, food was food was yeah. a little more expensive than the UK. Yeah, but we didn't. We stayed on airs most of the time, yeah. and it was much cheaper. So, so yeah. there you go. When we go, when we go down to, you know, when we get through France into Spain and Portugal. I think it's going to be a lot cheaper. Mm. Um, certainly, even if we stay on site and pay site fees, the site fees down there are a lot less than they are here. Or if if we wanted to stay on a site in Brighton, um, which is you know where basically where all the family is, it's forty quid a night, mm. which is you know it's a lovely site, but mm. goodness gracious. We're so, going to stay there. We've got a free night. Yeah, we we're going to stay there next month. Yes. We're we're such loyal customers that mm. they've given us mm. a free night. And we're staying on this site for free because <clears> we, when we bought the motorhome, you got a voucher for two free nights here. Wow. Yes. There was a thing. Just just varying off of the, yeah. off of the finances. So, um, just to just to, put an end to the finances bit. Yeah. yeah. October, fourteen eighty one. September 1467, so about the same, 1500. Oh. So that's good. That, that's um, 1500 pounds a month. Um, to, to, you know, all of our expenses, isn't it? it um, apart, from, apart from insurance, tax, mm. mobile phone. But I don't know, know, then I'd love to that. know if it's any cheaper to live in a van. <laughs> So no, when you add if when we if we add up all our um, well, I think it, I think it definitely, I think it definitely is because the only other expenses we've got is um, probably sixty pounds a month for van insurance, uh, sixty pounds a month for telephone and internet, and I think we could get that down. Um, tax so the hundred and twenty thirty pounds a month for uh, the van tax road tax. So there's hundred and fifty pounds a month. So you call that um, mm. fifteen. Let's say let's say sixteen fifty, and that's on the high side. So you know, and nothing else to pay. But when you when you think about it, you know, people's council tax is like one hundred and fifty two hundred pounds a month on its own, mm. and then you've got 
you know, at least 50 quid a month on electric, 50 quid a month on gas. Mm. And I'm sure it's probably more than that these days. I don't know how much days. it costs to uh, heat a place now. Really well, I, I, hear stories, I, I hear know. stories of people paying £100 a month for electric and £100 a month for gas. Mm. You know, it's, it's a lot of money. So, you know, a couple of hundred quid for council tax, a couple of hundred quid for gas mm. and electric mm. for, say, let's say, it's another £500 a month before you do anything else. Mm. So yes. I think it is more expensive to live in a bricks and sticks property. But anyway. Anyway, we don't know no. because yeah. we can't, we can no way, right. we have not lived in our house for... Ten years. No, well, nearly. Yeah, nearly yeah. Ten years, eight so years. Eight years, so we don't know. Over eight no. years. So, when we when we did the deal on Just William, brilliant deal by the way, and uh, High Bridge Caravan Centre in, De in Devon uh, is where we got William from. Brilliant people. F totally recommend them at the moment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can never you, tell, can no, you? No, you can't because we haven't long had the van. So, we don't um, know yet. We've only had it a few days. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So when we picked it up, they said, well, we give you a free night to stay at the local campsite, which is turn turn left out of the dealers, down the lane for about two miles, and then it's their 12 Oaks um, campsite. Wonderful little campsite. A very farmyard. Very farmyard. It does smell it farmyard. If you don't like that, you... If you don't like... Smelling farmyards, very countryside Don't smell. Don't go there, no, no. It smells like cows, basically. Anyway, <laughs> um, lovely site, mm. brilliant people. Mm. Um, the best, the best toilet and shower block I've ever experienced. Mm. Like heated floor all the way through. R really warm in there. Showers are great, although you know they don't. You can't take the thing off the wall. Um, it's just one of those and a and a touch pad so it does cut out mm. and the only down downside is that there's no curtain across the shower they're not the best you've ever had i think we've had no, the way I, you're talking about it they are to they're, so they're really really nice and clean uh, it's just mm. like great but the downside is there's no curtain so the water <laughs> comes out of the shower and goes all over mm. the, the entire floor's wet you know, inside the door. So um, that's the downside. <laughs> but anyway, really nice. And um, they they have a freezer stocked full of um, meat that they that they do themselves. Mm, that's they? right. Yep, meat from their cows when, that they keep. Yes. Wendy bought a pack of uh, steak cubes, little. Um, diced steak and some kidneys and made a very nice steak and kidney mm. stew thing I've not had stuff like that for decades I made it in the Ramoska yeah yeah so so that was that was the first night we did actually pay for a second night to stay there because oh. it was so nice and we were bloody exhausted oh, yes. weren't we moving house is exhausting like, oh, yeah. everything was everywhere it was just like oh and we couldn't find things and anyway so we stayed there for two nights but also because you buy a new motorhome they give you a voucher to stay at another really really upmarket site called cofton um cofton holiday park thing but we don't know what it's like really because we haven't cofton looked holidays. around yeah that's it. Um, we haven't he, we haven't looked around yet, so I say, it, and I don't know how much it would cost. <laughs> I say it's up market mm. because uh, what did I look? Didn't I? Didn't I say that it was like fifty quid to stay? I don't, I don't know. I don't Maybe know. that was the other one actually. But anyway, um, up to fifty one. But oh no, that was the other one. Mm. Their top price was fifty one pounds. We don't know how much it costs to stay no, here. No. We got the free voucher. You have to pay for electric. <laughs> yeah. um, and we had to pay a £4 supplement to go on a flat and level pitch. Because all the rest of the pitches are on slopey hills yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, we are in Devon, so it is a bit hilly. So you get all of that 
uh, and that's you know which is great um so you know that's where we are right now we're mm. at Cofton Cofton holidays we're gonna have a we thought we'd get the finance video done out the way we're gonna pop out for a walk have a look around the site and um then I'll upload this one and then we'll yeah. We'll get t finish getting tidied up, and we'll give you a nice tour of the van. Yeah, I'll show you all the cupboards, <laughs> and there's some of them are empty, not not like in the other one where think, they're overflowing. This you're going to be amazed. I think yes. what we what we mm. do is we'll mm. we'll video. Well, I'm amazed. The complete tour tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll get we'll get that done. We're, we're getting we're getting yeah. to a place where we where we. We know where we can put everything. Mm. You know, um, Wendy's got these two cupboards up here. There's two cupboards up here. Mm. There's one cupboard there above the kitchen area, which has got food and stuff in it. And then there's another cupboard on the opposite, above the opposite sofa. And that's got um, all the van papers in, because I just put them in there, made sure they're out of the way. Got my laptop in. And um, then the couple of cubby holes above the the side of the cab which has got nice deep deep pockets and we're storing dvds in one of them and currently cables that we don't know whether we need or not in the other one but we'll give you a full mm. tour yeah i think we'll do the full tour tomorrow we will because it, yeah. before we get the stuff other stuff out of storage to put in it we'll do it oh. yes then it um, won't look so great. Well, I'll, I'll do it before, you. as we've got it now, and then in a month's time when we've got the stuff out of storage, I'll show you, you it then. <laughs> the storage, when you mentioned oh, the storage... Don't, it makes me feel it's, ill. It's depressing. Oh, it is depressing, yes. I don't know what we've got in there. We, we've, we've got this huge garage, so but I don't want to fill it up. And, uh, you know, I was, mm. I've said to Wendy, we, you know, we've discussed it and, and sort of, can we not have so much stuff... Mm. so that all the cupboards and the drawers are jam-packed let's mm. get rid of things yeah. that don't fit let's just get rid of it i you know it's a hard thing mm. but i'm getting to the position where i'm thinking i i just don't want stuff do you no i, I, don't, I don't want, want so i don't buy i don't want to i don't want to buy any possessions or anything no i don't i think yeah we don't want stuff anymore but um, I have got some stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've got some personal stuff. Memorabilia, I suppose. Memorabilia. Yes. It, photographs from the old. That belong the old to all my grandparents. Great grandparents. Yeah, great grandparents. I've got a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. So. But anyway. I haven't got any of that. Other other members of my family got some of that sort of stuff. I'm I'm not worried about it. So, there we are. Mm. Um. So we're going to do the tour in the next video. Yeah. So well. come back for that. Yeah. And um, don't forget, if you've enjoyed this and you want to follow along with mm. the finances and see how much it actually costs mm. to live in a motorhome, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe mm. and importantly, press the notification bell because then you'll get <laughs> notified on YouTube um, when we publish a new video and don't forget we publish regularly we hope to do it on sunday late on thursday at some point but we do other videos other bits and pieces in between that um and there's a possibility we might do you know another two or three days of video little shorts um so you get reminders and you'll get notified of that so yeah so do do give us a thumbs up subscribe press the notification bell that's it yeah <laughs> and really really important make a comment down below in this video because that youtube are changing how comments are handled and for um subscribers which is why it's important you subscribe subscribers will be able to create their own sort of discussion thread on our channel so if you want to discuss something we're doing with us and with other subscribers mm. you can start to create mm. that mm. they've not implemented it yet but it's coming soon yeah 
so it's important to subscribe and what I'd really like from you guys is your help in getting us to that massive milestone of 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year that would be that would be marvelous so if you would if you haven't subscribed yet please do push our numbers up to 10,000 makes a big difference us. makes them feel good um, makes us know we're doing the right stuff so thanks very much yes. for watching yeah. yep. thanks for getting this far and mm -hmm. listening to our ramblings yeah hope you've enjoyed it yes and we'll <laughs> see you in the next one yeah thank bye. you bye bye everyone thank you very much for bye. watching yeah